Good evening. We're going into a situation this weekend that's very scary for a whole lot of people. Oceans will surge, trees will come down, power will go out. This guy at the beach was saying that, oh, this is all for nothing. Guy says, in 40 years I've lived here, nothing has happened. And uh, this could be the one time. We should not underestimate the impact of the storm. And we should not assume the predictions will be wrong. You were asked to leave the boardwalk because it's just that dangerous. A hurricane Sandy crashing on shore. Winds now at 90 miles per hour. And this storm is so big, so vast, 60 million Americans will feel its power. Damage started early. Massive chunks of boardwalk littering the streets. Street after avenue after cul-de-sac. that there would be flooding, there would be lots of power, but then this fire just erupted. It's destroyed, it feels like. It's like the apocalypse is here. I've been up 17 years in the shop, and I've never heard two blocks of noise. Right? I, I feel the most scared for my daughter because I'm an adult, I can understand what's going on. But she just, she lost everything. Just give me a second. of people in the Northeast are battling traffic, gas lines, limited public transit to return to work this morning. But I think the public needs to prepare for the fact that this is going to take a long time for us to clean up. Uh, the good news is we will clean up and we will get through this. Great energy, great love of uh, people, and um, just really appreciate them. Thanks, guys. Thank you.
other people in this difficult time. So thank you. Thank you for what you're doing. Good work. <laughs> I'm walking around town and I'm seeing this smiling <laughs> group of people that have energized the town with their giving and spirit. And we're just so appreciative for what they've done for us. Thank you very much. I got chill bumps when I saw the magnitude of you guys coming in and doing what you're doing out of the goodness of your hearts. And for what we've been going through, it's pretty tough. And I'm sure you're all kind of in the same spot that we're in, but you're out here doing it for us. It really is a wonderful thing and it's bigger than anything that, uh, that I do. You know, and I do appreciate it so much. And I'm speaking for my family and the town of Ridgewood and just mankind. So thank you. We're so proud of you that you came out and you're volunteering. You're not you're just giving up your time for this. Thank you. No one from the town has really helped us yet, so we thank you. Church of God. Woo! I got here the first day after the storm and it took uh, six days to make it to the ocean. These people that live here are devastated. I mean, they have no power, no water, no food, no heat, nothing. You know, we're here. We have to clear this street to get emergency vehicles through here. just showed up out of nowhere and helped us clean this mess. They got the floors cleaner than I had them when we were living here normally. <laughs> and they're going house to house and, and helping all the people here. There is a God. There is a God. everywhere the, so we had to clean everything up working all together as a team to say like please bring me that or me that we just understood each other without word you do a fabulous job when people are in distress and I think it's the, the best thing I've ever had happen to me I know that and just and that you'll all be blessed for it as well, all of you. And I'm so happy, I truly am. And one day, which is so much work, 
all you girls and you guys work so hard. I never saw people work so hard for strangers in my life. They're a godsend, and I'm very happy I can say that they're a godsend, that you're connected with God, and I know you, you know, are good people because you're already doing this already, volunteering, especially for the Church of God. No better organization to work for, I would think. Thank you. the whole day helping the survivors and the sins, what was it, sin, sin? Sandy, Sandy. Sandy hurricane that hit Breezy Point and help us put our house together. More people should join this lovely group. All the volunteers, they were great. <laughs> the best people in the world. It's all a hug. Thank you very much. I don't know what I'd do without you. <laughs> Daniel here, he came and he said, what can I do to help you? And uh, it shows how beautiful all of you lovely, lovely people are. And uh, words can't describe how grateful I really am. Can't thank you enough. I would love to help you, okay? You are wonderful. Okay. Also, we, we are sent by the God the Mother. God the Mother, yes. It's just, it's amazing. The, the Church of God, it's, the people are, there's no one like you. Thank you, Church of God. World Mission Society. <laughs> the community was devastated by Hurricane Sandy. And these beautiful angels from World Mission Church of God came and helped me clean out my basement, which it was a huge, huge help to me. And God bless all of them. And uh, I love you all. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God, there's so many things I want to say. Today when I came over from work and drove down the road and saw these people, and maybe they can help me. They were sent from heaven to help me. So thank you. And I thank you enough for all you lovely, lovely people. Helping us. We were wondering how we were going to get everything moved. But you people are so gracious and kind in your Christianity shows and the way you behave. You've been so good and so helpful. You didn't refuse to do anything. Whatever I asked, you did. And we're so grateful. Thank you so much. God will bless all of you, I am sure. <laughs> Okay, 76 with each. We're all Mrs. Society. And where are you from? We're actually from all over the East Coast. New York. So you guys all drove up here? Yeah. Wow, then where are you staying? We just drove. We just drove for the day. You have a tent over there. So you guys set up a tent. Yeah. And what are you guys doing today? Helping help everybody. So are you about to do some more houses and help clean up now? Yeah. I'm with News 12, local TV news. Can we uh, get you guys doing some clean up and stuff? Yeah. yeah. Let's meet over here. Everybody's everybody's That's amazing. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you. I can't believe the amount of... I just want to make sure. I mean, I, I was just going to turn right back and Maybe I'll and say leave. that. You guys completely blew my world by coming by to help out. What's going on? But something's going. There was a. There was like a amount of clothes in the car before. Now there's no clothes on the car. How does? How does this happen? Oh my God! This is unbelievable. You guys are amazing.
This is amazing. I can't believe the action that just happened. Around New Jersey, around the clock, this is News 12 New Jersey. Good evening. Thank you for joining us this Veterans Day here on News 12 New Jersey. I'm Rick Holmes. The task of cleaning up after the hurricane can seem overwhelming for some families. In many cases, their homes are ruined and even figuring out what can be salvaged okay. in Tom's River. Dozens of families got some help from volunteers. News 12 New Jersey's Dave Grunebaum has their story. Across this community that was battered by Sandy, there was an army wearing green vests and work gloves. 300 volunteers from the World Mission Society Church of God who came from communities across the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic. It's devastating to see the, the families and the damage that's happened to them. Dallas Jenkins, a senior airman in the Air Force, drove up from Washington, D.C. What goes through my mind is basically uh, sadness that all these people have to go through such a devastation. In this case, they're in the home of Jessica McCormick and John Vogel. The volunteers grabbed rugs, clothes, and furniture. Everything that needed to go went out the door. It gives me faith in humanity. Humanity, there's people that care, that truly, truly care. Um, let's see, these are good. They even helped organize items that might be salvageable. I personally feel amazing. It's actually so uh, inspiring to come out and help other people because through seeing the disasters that come, a lot of people, they don't expect uh, help. But on this day, that's exactly what these hurricane victims got. In Tom's River, Dave Grunebaum, News 12, New Jersey. Well, the church group says that they've been volunteering in communities in New York and New Jersey since the day after the hurricane. This is beautiful. I just asked the girls to borrow some trash bags and then a half hour later my entire house is cleaned up. So I, I can't stop smiling. <laughs> I'd like to thank you for coming, uh, the Church of God and the Heavenly Mother for coming and bringing all these people here to clean up this park for the children. I'm very thankful for people like you and uh, your church to help in the moment of need. Uh, the Heavenly Mother bless all of us. It meant the world to us to have people like you guys here to help us. It just means the world to us. We really appreciate it. More than I can, words can even say, you guys are absolutely the best. And thank you so much to, to God and the Heavenly Mother. Heavenly Mother, thank you so much. Um, everybody did an amazing job. And I really appreciate your services. I'm just so emotionally and physically drained. But uh, Heavenly Mother uh, volunteers, they came here. And I already got my, my working clothes back on. And they like gave us new energy. Like, uh, you know, and here we are again and getting even more done accomplished than what we did before, so thank you. These kids and the people that are around that are representing you and they're representing you extremely well. And I, and I appreciate it very much. Heavenly Mother, thank you so much. These people work so hard and to, to, to be so selfless and to give so much of yourselves, you have to be a great, great person. I appreciate everything that Heavenly Mother did for us. It's just terrific. You can't, you can't really describe it. I really want to thank the Church of God for coming to help my family. Um, it's a very scary time, but I want to thank them, and I know their mission is for the Heavenly Mother. Just huge, huge thank you, unbelievable kindness for coming into our home and helping us out in such a scary time. She's done a wonderful job. She can be very proud of her children. You have all done a marvelous, marvelous job. She really can be proud of every, every single solitude one of you. Even when I asked you guys to do crazy things, like re-put the the pine needles back down on the ground after you just swept them up. They just did it. I mean, just amazing. Amazing. Honesty. You're all going to get your reward in heaven. For sure. I'm not kidding. You are going to get a reward for this. Really, really, really are. Yeah, I see the green vest. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. You're beautiful people. I love you. 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 Anything else? No. This you have no idea. Thank you. And I have to say that God sent you because right before you came, I was feeling so low. And then you came. And I want to thank each and every one of you. Please, thank you for coming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
and you are angels. And I thank you so much because without your help today, it would have been devastating. I know now my father can come back in here safely and walk. And because I need for him to understand why he is at home. And that's all he wants to do is come home. They were independent. And thank you. You did that for them. I bless you. I wish you all, all the love uh, that they're not feeling from you. I give to the Heavenly Mother and, and to your congregation. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Cameraman. <laughs> the street and I saw these cars coming in, which looked to be about a thousand, I'm sure it was maybe a hundred people, all in the uniform. I saw them quickly get out and start going to houses and helping out. And I gotta tell you, that's probably one of the most emotional parts of the entire week. God, I can't believe anybody, you know, anybody come here and help us like this. What we want to deliver is a love of mother, because mothers give and give and give, and they don't want anything in return. So we just really want to leave it really good. And it's bringing people closer together. <laughs> when the stars start to drool, just like Pasta Vazo, that's the morning. Yeah, good to be the wall of What we thought was a catastrophe, you just gave us hope and, and new life. And, and we thank you very much. Angels from God. We'll the angels. We love you.